Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Raid World. So today I'm going to be going over a uh, GoPro mount, uh, chin mount that I purchased. Uh, it's called Chin Mounts and there's a, I'll provide a link down below, uh, chinmounts.com. I saw them one time on a YouTube video. I was doing some research on uh, different chin mounts, side mounts, seeing what's the best thing to go with. What I liked about them when I, when I saw their video was that they had different options for different helmets and you didn't have to glue or do anything like that. It's just that 3M tape that just sticks on there. Um, obviously, I haven't ridden with it yet, so once I do go on a ride with it, see how it holds up, make sure it holds on there. Uh, I'll provide a review, or I'll do a review after that. So, so for the helmet that I'm going to be using for the uh, the chin mount is the Bell Qualifier. So this is actually my wife's helmet. I actually rock a I rock a Simpson mod helmet, the one that flips up. I'll do a review on that one later. Uh, it is a really cool helmet. So. Uh, as far as the GoPro, I have a GoPro Hero 7 Black with the uh, Ulanzi case. Uh, I believe that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, it has a shoe mount on top. Uh, has all your access ports here as well as your access port here for your, uh, your mic adapter. Has the mic adapter uh, holder to it as well as the uh, GoPro mount uh, adapter. This can be removed and it has the, uh, the uh, threads there just in case you want to mount it to a tripod. So I really like all the options that come on this case. I'll pull the GoPro out and then I'll pull the mic adapter out just so you guys can see it. I also have a, uh, an ND filter for this. That way if you're riding and you're in the sun or something like that, you can always adjust it. I like the option of just having that ND filter on here. That way you're not catching all that sunlight and you can run different frame rates. And as far as the mic, I have the Purple Panda microphone. Uh, I saw a lot of reviews on this one. Really good microphone as far as what I saw. I haven't used this yet, so... Uh, I really, this review is for the chin mount, but I'll obviously throw this out there. I'll provide all the links down below for these mounts and stuff like that. And after I actually use them and actually go riding with them, um, I'll provide a review for those, uh, how they hold up, as well as the uh, chin mounts. I did purchase two different things from uh, chin mounts. So we'll open these up, see what's inside. They did send me an email on how to uh, install this. Uh, really good customer service. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, unwrap these and we'll mount them on the helmet. All right, so here we have the, uh, the chin mounts uh, from chin mount. I'm gonna go ahead and take all this stuff out and see what's inside. All right, so it looks like we have our, uh, our tether or a tether went along with some uh, 3M tape. So in here we have, uh, looks like the low profile mount, uh, GoPro mount, along with the thumb screw. And rubber locking plug for the uh, GoPro. So we have the low profile mount, uh, thumb screw. Looks like this 3M tape goes on this. This is your tether along with your, uh, your rubber locking plug. So here it looks like we have the actual chin mount. This is for the bell qualifier. Feels like good quality. This is the uh, 3M tape that sticks on there. Obviously we'll uh, make sure we activate that 3M tape before we stick it on and also clean it up. They do uh, email you some instructions on how to properly mount it. We'll go ahead and uh, open this bag up, see what's inside. Oh, they do provide a alcohol swab to clean up your helmet. So in this bag, we have the extra locking plugs, uh, just in case you lose one. I really never used locking plugs before. I'm sure some of you have. Uh, I'll see how this works. So I ordered a pack of five. So these are just five locking plugs. Uh, it already came with one, so you don't have to order the extra, the extra pack. So. We'll go ahead and uh, clean the helmet up and we'll get this mounted on the helmet. All right, so we have our uh, bell qualifier here. So we'll go ahead and uh, clean this spot up here. Uh, it says to do a test fit, make sure you got the correct one. And I mean, just put it on there immediately. You can tell that it, uh, it fits perfectly on there. The curvature and everything else on the helmet, uh, everything looks good. Um, yeah, 
pretty much you'll know when it's on there correctly when uh, it's kind of slanting and there's a gap in between there so if you know you'll have it mounted right and level uh, if it's all flush and there's no gap uh, between that 3m tape and your actual helmet so we'll go ahead and uh, clean this up with that alcohol swab So we'll just clean this area here and as per the instructions it says to wait till the alcohol dries i mean obviously that's a given you don't want to mount tape to a wet surface so looks pretty clean to me i'll wait for that to dry all right so everything looks dry on here everything looks clean uh prepped we'll go ahead and Make sure if you haven't done so already, uh, activate that 3M tape, apply some heat if you need to, um, and go ahead and peel the tape off. Looking at it, uh, the angle, you want the skinny side up, uh, fat, t fat side uh, pointing down. So we'll go ahead and mount this on here. Uh, I'm gonna look at it from this way just to make sure I have it uh, evenly up up and down and left and right and it's not slanted or crooked on here all right so I'm looking on there no gap I'm gonna hold on there for 30 to 60 seconds all right, so I have it on there. Uh, that's what it looks like on there mounted. Um, everything looks straight to me as far as my angles go. Uh, camera angle might look kind of funny, but as far as uh, looking at it, um, everything looks good on here. There's no gaps. Everything looks even. So that's what it looks like mounted on there. It's just one little single piece. So if you want to mount your tether, you can mount your tether on one side or the other. Uh, they do a, they do provide you the uh, 3m tape for this uh, tether mount here so you'll tie the tether onto this and this will go towards your uh, this will go on your GoPro we'll go ahead and uh, get this tether uh, mounted on here looks like a uh, whitish yellow side this is going to be towards the, uh, the actual tether 3m tape side will go towards your helmet so I'll stick that on there So I got the uh, 3, 3M tape on the uh, tether mount. We'll go ahead and activate that 3M tape. Just go ahead and scratch it up a little bit, heat it up if you need to. All right, so we got our 3M tape off. We'll go ahead and uh, mount this to the side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this here. Uh, you can mount it up, down, side, it doesn't matter. So same thing, uh, 30 to 60 seconds, apply some pressure. All right, so that's on there pretty good. Uh, this is on here pretty good. So this is the low profile GoPro mount that uh, they have on their website. So this will sit on here like this and you just mount your GoPro to that. I mean, you can mount it either way, either way you need to mount it. So it locks in there pretty good. All right, so we got our uh, chin mount uh, from Chin Mounts mounted on the uh, Bell Qualifier helmet. So this is the Chin Mount 4 specifically made for the Bell Qualifier. If you do go on their website, you'll see that they have uh, different mounts for different helmets, which is pretty cool. Uh, so here I have the GoPro setup that I'm gonna use. So I have the Ulanzi case. So the Ulanzi case, it does come with this uh, cap here, your lens cap. Uh, it has a threaded area here for, your, uh, for the ND filter that I have. So I'll go ahead and uh, put this all together so you guys can see how I'm gonna set it up. So for the Alonzi case, pretty durable case. Uh, this mounts on here and also this is an option mount that you can have for your GoPro or it has the uh, thread so you can thread into a tripod. So we'll go ahead and stick the GoPro in there. All you do is just slide this up. You can just stick your GoPro in here. Just make sure you have that uh, the adapter or your plug right here you remove that access door you just remove that before you stick it in here so we'll stick our gopro here i have a gopro hero 7 black 
stick that in there and then all you do is just slide this door back here so that's all it is for that and then i'll go ahead and stick my uh, microphone adapter in here so the opening is here for your microphone adapter you're just going to go in this direction which you can only go in in one direction because it slides in and then there's a stop here that stops you so it stops right there and then you just take your your adapter and you just plug it in so that's all plugged in there and now all i'm going to do is i'm going to take my uh, nd filter from gobe i believe that's how you say it gobe or gobe uh, it's a variable nd filter uh, comes in a nice case and all it is is a 52 millimeter uh, lens and it just screws in here but what i like about the the cap that came with the Ulanzi case uh, fits right in here. Uh, it doesn't screw in there or anything like that. It's not meant for it, but it actually fits on there. So that way when I'm traveling, I can just keep it on there. If I want to keep it on here, instead of taking the filter off, I can just put this lens cap on here and it'll protect it while it's in, the, while it's in my uh, go bag. So then I have my adapter for my microphone here. It's an adapter that you need in order to plug in your uh, Purple Panda microphone. So all that is you plug it into here and from here, I already ran tests on this. Sounds pretty good with this uh, cattail on here. So you have a purple panda microphone. Um, you got your microphone adapter for your microphone adapter to your GoPro. Uh, there's a lot of adapters going on here, but it all works out. Um, if anything, it provides you a little longer cable, which you really don't need a longer cable because the purple panda already comes with this really long cable that you got to hide in your helmet. So uh, I'll install it on here on the actual mount, but I won't be running the microphone or anything like that because you guys will just, uh, you'll find a way to just fit it in there and then just, you know, Velcro it down on there. So we got our Lonzi case, pretty durable case, has your access ports here in order to access your mode button here. And as well as you can access your screen, has that opening in the back. So ND filter, that way if you're riding in the sun, you got this filter, you, you can filter in and out. Um, it gets darker, lighter, uh, pretty cool filter. So I'm gonna test this out, see how it is. I'll do a review afterwards. I'll post some, uh, some vlogs and uh, see how everything looks. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted on the helmet. I'm gonna take this microphone off here for now, set it to the side. Um, I'll leave my filter on here, the filter cap on here. And we'll go ahead and mount this onto the uh, helmet. So as far as this, so as far as this GoPro rubber locking plug, uh, never used one of these before, but I believe it just goes right in here. Uh, this is where it fits. It's your locking plug. I'm guessing it's a locking plug, so this doesn't come undone. There's no way to like pull this down or pull this up. And this, I believe, just goes right into where you thread it. So we'll go ahead and mount this on here. All right, so we have our GoPro here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on here. Just make sure you're holding on to this piece here. Um, this piece pops out. So just slide that in through there. And then what I'll do is I'll take that rubber locking plug. This is just kind of awkward because I'm trying to show you in the camera. So just slide it on there, push this through here. And then just make sure you're holding this piece on this side because this will push it all the way through and it'll kind of just pop out. This is what it looks like on here. I'll take this cap off so you guys can see that filter. Very low profile. Uh, it's on there pretty good. I'm tugging on it and moving it around and it's, it's on there pretty good. And obviously you'll plug in your microphone right here and this, you'll just run your microphone into your helmet, inside your helmet, inside of here. Uh, tuck in that extra wire somewhere. Uh, I do have that chin vent here. So that way you keep that wind from coming in and provide you that extra, uh, that buffer from that wind. All right, everyone, so here's the helmet with the uh, chin mount from Chin Mounts. I'll provide a link in the description below to all these products. As far as the mount, the Ulanzi mount, uh, the mic, the adapters, all that stuff. So this is what it looks like up close. Very low profile mount. Has different, uh, you can go on their website, has different options for different helmets. That's what it looks like there. Pretty good mount. 
uh, as far as pulling on it, tugging on it, everything feels good. Yeah, so I just need to sit up when I'm riding in order uh, wearing this chin mount. But I guess that's all with all chin mounts. You don't want it uh, obstructing your view. So where it sits, it's actually where it needs to sit. But uh, I don't know, it's comfortable, it doesn't feel heavy. I mean, with the, uh, with the GoPro mount, as well as all the accessories that come with it. But going ride with it last night, and then looking at the footage, I do have to sit up a little bit in order to see over the uh, windshield. I do have that nine inch Clockworks blacked out windshield. What's good about the Alonzi case, it's got the, uh, that 52 millimeter, 52 millimeter lens. You can see uh, it adjusts from light to dark. So I probably just jacked up my, uh, <laughs> I probably just jacked it up. But yeah, it has the uh, GOB or GOB adjust uh, variable ND filter. That way, if you're riding into the sun, you can adjust it to minimum or maximum. I'll probably put a little tick mark on there. I can see the min and I can see the max, but I'll probably put a little tick on there uh, just to make it a lot more uh, easier to read when you're riding. Thanks for tuning in to Raid World. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Check out the description below. I'll provide all the links to uh, all the products that I went over and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.